It has been nearly 30 million years since the Mesozoic era began, and much has changed in that time. Where once the world was dominated by desert, now some regions, especially along the coastlines, are covered in a cool, wet forest. And in these forests, life has begun to truly thrive again. This is Proconsignathus. At half a meter long and weighing no more than 10 kilograms, it is among the smallest dinosaurs of the Triassic. They have a highly complex social structure, living in large groups of up to 30 animals. But even in these swarms, they are too small to pose any actual threat to other animals. So, Procomsignathus has taken on the niche of a generalized opportunist, picking up what scraps it can find in the shadows of its bigger relatives. Like Pisonosaurus. Pisonosaurus is nearly three times as large as Procomsignathus, and occupies a completely different role within the ecosystem. It is one of the earliest known Ornithischians, a group of plant-eating dinosaurs that will one day produce such famous giants as Stegosaurus and Triceratops. The signs of this future legacy are already visible, even at this early stage. While more ancient herbivores could only nip and tear at vegetation with their blunt teeth, Pisanosaurus has a unique innovation, a keratin beak. This allows Pisanosaurus to chew, enabling it to extract more nutrients from the tough, fibrous plants. This simple adaptation gives it a distinct edge over the other creatures it shares its world with. But if one had to pick a single animal to serve as the poster child of the dinosaur's early success, there is only one clear choice. Coelophysis is 3 meters long and weighs around 150 kilograms. It is, far and away, the most numerous dinosaur in the forests of Pangaea, living in vast colonies, sometimes numbering in the dozens. Their nimble bodies, omnivorous diets, and heightened senses are all contributors to their success, but the key to it lies within their bodies. Coelophysis is among the most bird-like of Triassic dinosaurs, already possessing not just a wishbone, but a distinctly avian respiratory system. Rather than simply breathing normally, their bodies are lined with an interconnected series of air sacs. These ensure that fresh, oxygenated air is always flowing through their bodies, even when exhaling. With their supercharged respiratory systems and their adaptable behaviors, Coelophysis has come to dominate the Triassic landscape. Their success is so monumental, they've even begun to inspire imitators. Despite appearances, this is not a dinosaur. This is Ephigea, an ancient ancestor of crocodiles. The telltale difference lies in the structure of its hips. While the legs of dinosaurs like Coelophysis attach to the side of their pelvis, Ephigea's hips are located on the bottom of its pelvis. This produces the same end result, an erect bipedal gait, but requires much more specialized adaptations. This unique kind of hip structure is exclusive to Ephigea and its relatives, and will disappear alongside them at the end of the Triassic in around 20 million years' time. But where the future holds doom for Ephigea, it will bring only success for the early dinosaurs. They will spread across the continents, continuing to adapt and diversify for the next 150 million years. They will give rise to some of the strangest, fiercest, and most spectacular animals the world has ever seen.